He's done a lot of damage early in the year in his career. In Australia, especially. That's where he's had his yeah, breakthrough success as Giron holds to open the match. For Giron, that's why he's given himself a lot of space behind the baseline. Oh, oh wow, what a return. What a, <laughs> what a strike there from Marcos. Yeah, Marco Shiro makes it look so effortless sometimes. Again, we talk about his great defensive skills. Ah, that's a big cannon there. 118 down the tee. She was still in the singles at 16, and she won that year. Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Using that backhand down the line, because when he uses that, then most players will go back cross court to his forehand. So he just catches players off balance with that shot. Our first ace of the match for Francis Tiafo. It may be the best value in sports. Free admission, not only do you get to see guys playing with their livelihoods on the line. <laughs> this court is not covered. That's a clutch ace for Marcus Giron, his fourth of the match. Sharon showing the ability to change the height. Saving three break points, Tiafo now has a point for four all. Yeah. That is a superb response. And that's the first time that we've seen, one of the first times that we've seen Marco Sharon taking time away from Francis. Fifth ace of this first set for Marco Sharon. And a point for 5 4 now. It's the fourth ace of the match there for Francis Tiafo. Ferrer, one on the left, you saw Wayne Ferreira, former top 10 player. 
and the backwards hat Brett Waltz from Phoenix Arizona that's his physio and the blue hat there that's Francis fitness trainer and the black t-shirt was Jordi Arcanada and then there was a double fall and follows the double fall the woman ace on his end Start of set number two, Francis Tiapo took the first and begins set two with an ace down the tee, his ninth of the match. is wearing the Nike GP Turbo <laughs> shoes, which they don't sell anymore. They're yeah. not on the, the big websites. You can't. So how does he get the, does, is he, has he hoarded a bunch? He switched to the new one and then started getting a lot of elbow issues. So oh. now he's gone back to his previous Yonix racket. They've just painted it, the new version. And that is ace number 10 for Francis Diapo. Same colorway that he's going with the, uh, the uh, orange and blue. Orange is one of the big colors for Nike at this event. You see Francis wearing the orange and the light blue. And there is the break of serve. First of the match goes to Francis Tiapo. Big moment for him. He got the Australian wild card to get into this U.S. Open. Meanwhile, Francis Tiapo is wasting little time to consolidate this break in the second. Was on point. Not a bad approach shot by Marcos Chiron. Just got to get ready to cover that cross court pass. He was so close to the sideline, was Marcos. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Giron's on the board here in. Set number two with a break in hand here, serving at 3-1. Where we got to see Iga Fiontek play with her idol, Rafa Nadal. Well, Marcos Giron gets right there against Coco Goff and John McEnroe. There's one point where they had the between the legs and... It's almost like she has no idea that yeah. she's as good as she is. Again, it's not easy to pass on these quick courts. Giron did have three break chances in one of Tiafo's service games in the first set, was unable to convert. He's got love 30 on the Francis serve now. All right, he's got 15 30. Marcos' is coach, Maxime. That's one way out of one break. One. It's tough to look for. That is his favorite serve on that new side, but when he just beat you down the tee the point before, you're not really sure where he's going to go. So now he's mixed up the box, as Francis. Yes. Well, that didn't miss by much.
even rent out Ash for you yeah, know, for mitzvahs it. and weddings and, and, and whatnot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, that's a much better aggressive hit there by Marco Chiron. Make Francis have to think about that. And I like how it went off the side of the court, not through the baseline. And even when he has it in an ace, he has been nearly impenetrable. Chiron didn't panic on these volleys. Just kept his opponent on the move. And as I said. For Tiafo, winning 75% throughout this match, 12 of 16 times that he's come to the net has he won the point. Again, these fast courts, you have to play more aggressively. And you also would never know how defending points is for players. A stress involved trying to defend points, keep their ranking where it is. a lot of space around that forehand. You have more options if you get around the ball with your legs like that. First time Marcos own played here, made his main draw debut as a wild card singles title for UCLA. So he's played this quite a few times. He was ranked 419 in the world. but he's able to read the pass. Another example of when things get a little bit tight, when the pressure rises, Francis forces the issue. Oh, look at that redirection from Garone. Tiapo, deep position, back down the line, right behind Marcos Giron. Yeah, that's a shot that he's worked on. Marcos Giron facing the pressure of playing from behind, down two sets to love. <laughs> Opens the fourth game of this third set. Nicholas, I know you're playing your last U.S. Open in the doubles, unless you win hopefully, it, you we'll, Hopefully it. we'll make a quick, a good run, yeah, you yeah. never know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
plans subject to change. <laughs> Amazing career. Thirty. It was like 9,000 degrees outside. Now the sun's down. <laughs> oh, Giron stepped in there. That's a big hit. A little serve and volley. And a second serve point by moving in the court, hitting through. And then on the next one, you're 10 feet behind the baseline and just getting the point started. Turn there from Francis Tiafo. He's only winning 47% of his second serve points as Marcos, where it's a much higher percentage on the first serve, 82% over the course of five sets, you would think. You got to take advantage of the chance that he gives you. You know, you saw the pickup volley that was a really high drop shot that Marcos could have done more with on the pass. You really have to take advantage of the limited opportunity you get from top players, you know. Gotta do something with it. Yeah, that's the money ball for Tiapo. Thaler, Nicholas Monroe on the call. Marcos Giron pushed on his back foot by Francis Tiafo early in that rally, and Tiafo never relinquished. It is. Yeah, and I'm nine for nine on net points. I mean, he's pushing Marcos further and further back to give himself a chance to serve for this match. Had some big serving and a huge. gets a chance to serve for the set. Three sets to love, seven, six, six, four, six, three. It was a battle, but Francis Tiafo had the answers each time he needed them.